Welcome back, everyone. If you like the heat, okay, it's the last of it. I'm sorry to say that, at least for now. We have lots of that dry air still around the region, but that's all beginning to change. Notice we had a little bit more cloud cover, and notice the winds. They're still pretty strong, coming right off the Gulf of Mexico, bringing a lot of moisture throughout much of central Texas, moving up into the northern part of the state, and that's basically kind of fueling up this next frontal system that's going to be pushing its way into our region. There are a couple of storms right now, most of which are just going to be north of Dallas. Any kind of thunderstorm activity we cannot expect today. It's going to be more so right around your lunch hour tomorrow. I'll get to that in just a bit. Right now, expect mostly cloudy skies throughout the evening and more cloud cover building throughout the night and starting off your day tomorrow. So if you have any outdoor plans, make sure that they are nice and bright and early because around 7 a.m. OK, cloud cover, not a big deal. Give us some nice shade overall pretty nice conditions. Then boom, right around lunchtime, even pushing down along the I-35 corridor and even I-45, heavy th showers and thunderstorms are expected. And then it kind of calms down right around the evening time, just seeing a couple of those scattered showers, more so right around the borders of our viewing area. And then throughout the morning, I'm talking early morning, right around midnight till about 4 or 5 a.m., widespread showers throughout the morning, then calms down right around your lunch hour going into Monday and kind of even calms down even more so with a little bit less cloud coverage Monday evening. So give yourself some extra time for your morning commute. Forecast rainfall totals are looking a lot more realistic now than they were this time yesterday. Most places showing anything from about half an inch and above to about one and a half inches, mostly out to the far western areas like Brownwood, Goldthwaite and Gatesville. That's going to be about it. In terms of severe chances right now, the Storm Prediction Center just has a not even a level one marginal risk, just a general thunderstorm risk, although I'm seeing a lot of instability in the atmosphere, so that could certainly change and we will keep you updated throughout this storm system for tonight. Mostly cloudy, some pretty strong gusts right ahead of this frontal system. 69 degrees is what you can expect. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty warm one tonight, but don't worry. Cooler temperatures are coming back in the seven day plan are always a weekend forecast 40% chance of showers in the afternoon Sunday. Then it starts to calm down after we go into the afternoon on Monday, but look at that cooler temperatures all around. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.